Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're focusing specifically on what are the best VPNs in 2023 for streaming. Um, we're going to be kind of highlighting some of my top streaming VPNs. Uh, so what do I mean by a streaming VPN? Well, a streaming VPN is a VPN that can work to unblock geo restrictions with services like Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, HBO Go, and uh, as well as some extraneous other options. Now, the thing with a lot of these services is they can be pretty strict and they don't necessarily want people bypassing geo restrictions. They want people staying in their country and watching that country's content. But VPNs can allow you to go outside of that without even leaving the country and watch new content. With something like Netflix, you can see a lot of cool shows in other regions. And with something like HBO Go, Prime Video, and some of those things, if you're not in the United States, you could sometimes get access to these services with a VPN. So that's kind of the main idea here. But that said, not all VPNs are created equal. On the tier list, that's why I specifically have a section to test these VPNs. And as far as I know, I'm really the only reviewer that does the work to test each individual one. It does take some time, but fortunately, um, you know, that is something we do here to give you guys the best results. I also have a subreddit called r slash r slash Netflix via VPN, a community where people do talk about some of these options as well and some of their issues or solutions. Um, so that's cool. Another thing I did want to mention before mentioning some of these top VPNs is a service called Goms Go. Now, Goms Go is a cool service that will let you share your account with some other users in a pretty cool way. So if you're interested in that, check that out. It will work pretty much with every streaming service, giving you a good little discount. So I'm going to be putting a link for that in the description down below. If you use code SPARK with that, you should be able to get 5% off. So that's a pretty cool service. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and start off the list here. Now, just to be clear, I would recommend visiting vpntrailers.com first and using the links here. I'll be putting most of these links in the description and pinned comment as well, but usually these links will give you some kind of discount, which is very helpful to save some money. First up, we're gonna be talking about hi.me, and this is the link on my website. You can get a really good deal on it. 36 months uh, for around $95. This is insanely good. Probably one of the best prices you're going to get for a streaming VPN. You get 10 simultaneous device use. They have a stream compatibility option with the application. It works on pretty much every service. Um, it's an audited VPN as well. A very good company and extremely solid. So click on that link on the tier list or in the description and you should be able to get this exclusive deal, um, which I haven't really seen anywhere else. An amazing VPN provider. So check that out. It's not really one you're going to see talked about too often uh, because this list isn't really a sponsored list. This list is a list of my favorite VPNs. I am an affiliate with them, but I'm not ranking them by how much they pay me. And that's kind of unusual for <laughs> reviews. So hi.me, not something you're going to see too often, but trust me, it's a really good VPN provider. And of course, with all these VPNs, if you don't like it, you can always refund it too. All right, guys, next up is going to be something that's a little bit more popular. This is going to be NordVPN. Now, NordVPN isn't the perfect VPN in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, I prefer Hi.me's transparency and business model. But it can't be denied that NordVPN's standard plan for $100 for two years um, is very good for streaming. It's one of the ones I recommend for streaming, specifically for streaming sometimes. It does have some of the best performance I've seen. Probably a little bit better than Hi.me in some ways globally. Um, server by server, I could connect a little bit quicker and get a little bit better speeds. That said, my internet is so fast already, it's probably fine with Hi.me, um, but with NordVPN specifically, I do get a little bit better performance. That said, it is a little bit more expensive. Hi.me, $90 for three years. NordVPN, $100 for two years. Um, and after that, I think it does increase to $100 year after year for that if you don't cancel and start a new account. So that's something to think about. That said, if you have a little bit of extra change, NordVPN specifically for streaming is probably one of the top tier options out there. And that's one reason I recommend it a lot for people who want to unblock streaming services. So really cool. Um, and if you want to check that out, just click on the link in the description and on tier list. It might not get you any discount just for transparency's sake. Um, but if they ever do kind of give me a discount or anything like that, it will factor that in. Um, NordVPN is kind of wishy-washy about discounts. They didn't really give me an exclusive deal like Hi.me. Hi.me is pretty cool to do that. A lot of VPN, these big VPNs don't really like doing too many discount codes or anything like that. Um, but like I said, if you click on that link, you should be able to get the best available price regardless of what's going on. All right, guys, now we can talk about Proton. Now, Proton isn't a VPN I talk about all the time for streaming, 
But that said, collectively as a, as a VPN and its ability to unblock streaming, it's a very good VPN provider. Um, the thing with Proton is it does offer a free plan, um, but you won't be able to access streaming unblocking and stuff like that. Whereas with the Pro plan, you can. Um, it does always default to euros, which kind of annoys me. Um, but that said, $120 for 24 months. It is going to be pricier than Nord and Hide.me. That said, in some areas, it is better. Um, it's open source for one. Um, it's audited just like Hide.me. Um, so it's number three on this list, probably because it is more expensive. But it is good for streaming and a very solid VPN of its own right. So I'll also be putting a link for that as well. Um, if there's any available discounts, you'll get it if you click on that link. Anyways, guys, lastly, we could talk about Surfshark. And this one specifically, if you do click on the link, you're gonna get two extra free months. I know that for a fact, as you can see it here. So you get 26 months instead of 24 months. Now Surfshark, just like NordVPN, they're very similar companies. I think they're actually kind of sister companies in some way. Um, so you get $60 for 26 months which is the cheapest option here which is really nice and it's pretty much going to work almost just as good as nordvpn at streaming compatibility so in some ways it is one of the best vpns for streaming why is it number four here well it's just a little bit lower rated on the tier list it's missing out some compatibility features um, for the power users um, if we look at you know the specific chart here we could see a rating by rating breakdown um, it just has a little bit more limited of an application than, you know, Proton, Nord, and Hide.me. It's missing out some things like DNS controls, port forwarding. It's not open source. doesn't have remote VPN capabilities. And the privacy section could be a little bit better with too many trackers on the website and stuff like that. So as a VPN, it's lower rated. But as a streaming VPN provider, it's pretty damn good. It's cheaper than Nord. It probably works just as good. Um, it just has a little bit of those compatibility things to make it a little bit of a lower rating. But if you don't need port forwarding, sock side proxy, um, DNS controls, stuff like that, this is going to be perfectly sufficient for you. All right, guys. So I hope that makes sense. And like I said, if you click on that link, you'll also be able to get two extra free months for Surfshark. All right, guys. I hope this was a pretty good list for you. Hopefully unbiased. I'm not sponsored by any of these VPNs. None of them paid me to be in this specific video. Let me know down in the comments down below which one works best for you. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.